piece I'd like to show you is our field recorders. Now we have two models in our digital professional field recorder category. This is the PCM D1. We introduced this about two years ago. This piece is a state-of-the-art professional field recorder. It has been built with the pro in mind. This has four gigs of flash memory built into it. It has very accurate meters, both analog and peak meters. It has the best mic preamp that we could put into a portable device built into it. It has a matched pair of condenser microphones matched within one dB of each other. And it's all housed inside of a titanium case. Now this piece was a $2,000 field recorder, which appealed very much to the high-end part of the market and to the people out there that needed to have a very professional tool for doing everything from ENG work, to the field production work, sound effects recording, nature recording. So it's been used out there in a lot of different applications. But now when it came to working musicians who wanted to do things like capture song ideas, writing songs, capturing concerts or performances that they're at, it was pricey. So what we're proud to introduce at this show is a new model called the PCM D50. And that's the smaller brother right here. This piece here carries on an awful lot of the same quality, performance, and engineering that we had in the PCM D1. But the D50 has a few features that are different, geared a little bit more towards the working musician, and of course the price point is significantly lower than what we have here. The PCM D50, starting out with, has a list price of $599. So already is a big difference between the $2,000 model and the $600 model. Now, what do we have that's the same between the two? We'll start with heavy-duty construction. Not titanium, but some metal case built with die-cast aluminum chassis. All right. So if you're a professional out in the field and you need something that's going to be rugged and hold up for you, this piece is going to do it. It has the same functionality and easy access to the menu and the features that we have in the D1. And believe me, the pros really like that. It's not very menu intensive and deep. It's very easy to get into, get access to, scroll through, decide and select, and you can go. When it has no track, it simply tells you. Go back into the menu, find the tracks that you do want, and hit play, and you're gonna know when there's a track or when there's not some information. We have a backlit display that allows you to see the information much easier. And to make a recording, it's as simple as just hit the record button, set your levels. You even have LEDs on top that'll light up green or red if you're overloading. And once you've set your record level, just hit the pause and you're going. So it's simple. Now. We've set up some new features that are unique in this product. One of them is really very important to uh, news gathering. So if you are a radio journalist and you're out using this in the field to record an interview, sometimes you don't get your recorder going until after the guy says something very important. So what this has is a five second pre-roll, which means you can hit the record button and it'll still capture everything that was said five seconds before you hit the record button. And that's a feature that you would set up and turn on inside the recorder. For the musician, another really cool feature that we've incorporated here is A-B repeat. If you're, let's say, listening to a guitar riff in the middle of a song, and you want to be able to try to copy that riff, you mark the A spot in the beginning. At the end of the riff, you hit the B spot, and it'll loop continuously back and forth between that. Now, you may have it so that you can play it over and over again, but you still can't hear everything he's doing, so you can't actually get the recording. So what this also has is digital pitch control. Digital pitch control means that you can now slow down the recording, but keep it in pitch. That means it doesn't change keys. So if you're a guitar player trying to learn to park, you can slow down the recording to 75% of what it was playing at. You can also speed it up by 25%. So it gives you an opportunity as a working musician to actually go in, listen to it, and use it as a tool where you can actually sample recordings, listen to things, and then try to learn them. It makes it a little bit easier. Now, let me point out two things that are critically important to any professional field recorder. If you go out in the field and you're making recordings and you're going to be out there all day, there's two things that you cannot run out of. One of them is record space, and the other is battery life. All right? So, what do we've got? We've got four gig built in here. 
If you're recording at the highest bit resolution, 96K, 24 bit, it's gonna give you about two hours of record time in the four gig. You need more. So what we also do is provide a slot for a memory stick, and you can slide in another four gig memory stick in here so you can keep going all day long. So depending on how long your recording is going to be, you don't have to worry about stopping, downloading the information, and taking it out to your computer. You can just keep plugging in memory sticks and keep going all day. The other thing you can't run out of is battery life. So we've made that simple too. This operates on standard AA batteries. You can get anywhere and you can carry lots of extras around in your bag when you need them. These four batteries will run this machine in record for 14 hours. And that's if you have headphones plugged into it. If you unplug the headphones and you're not monitoring, it'll run for 24 hours off those batteries. If you plug in NICADs or some of the longer life batteries, you can go into 35 to 40 hours of record time off of the batteries that you have in this machine. So, not draining power for you, very energy conservative, easy to replace batteries, additional space for putting in more memory when you're out in the field, built-in mics, but if the built-in mics are good enough for certain things, but it's not good enough for what you want to record, well then you can actually plug in external microphones to the mic input that we have here. Now that means that you can use standard stereo quarter-inch mic input to go there, or you can also adapt. This is the XLR1. This can mount right on the bottom of the unit, and you can then plug in XLR microphones, and it also has phantom power right into it. So that's a separate adapter that you can add to the product if you needed to use different mics. Now the mics that are on here give you the option of recording in this XY pattern that we have set up. So that means this mic here on the right side is actually recording the left channel. This mic on the left side is recording the right channel. But now these mics can be moved. All right. You can put them straight up, or you can go into a wide stereo mode. Now, if this mic before was recording the left channel, as soon as you moved it out of that XY pattern and you moved them over here, this now becomes the right channel, and this is the left channel. It automatically switches the microphones to be the right channel or the left channel, depending on which position you have them in. Brilliant. All right, one more thing that I wanted to point out that makes this a professional tool, and it really helps to differentiate this product from a lot of the other products that are out there. We have a limiter that can be turned on and off, a little switch on the back, along with a, a low-cut filter, which you can go into the menu and you can adjust the low-cut filter to either be uh, 75 or 150 cycles for all of But the limiter is what's brilliant. The way this limiter works is it doesn't just clip the peak that comes through, and it, it doesn't squash or compress the signal. This is a very sophisticated design, and it's the only one that I know of, and it uses the same limiter function in the PCMD1. What happens is when you're making a recording, it actually records two streams of audio at the same time. One of them is set at the level that you've set your record level at, and the other is set 10 dB down. Now, if a peak comes along, and it causes you to flash up into the red, and you're distorting the signal, what happens is the signal path actually diverts to the lower record level, 10 dB down. It goes past the part where you had the peak come in. It does a level match and brings it back up, and it reinserts it back into the stream so that the peak did happen, the distortion did occur, but you never heard it and you never recorded it. It's a brilliant system, and it's, uh, it's worked very effectively in our PCMD1 for a couple of years now, and now it's been incorporated also in the PCMD50. Now, I will emphasize one thing. This is not a toy. We didn't try to introduce something that's going to be an MP3 recorder. This can record at 16-bit, it can record at 24-bit, it can record at 96K. Um, this is a professional tool. It's built like one, and it's priced a little bit more expensive than some of the other products that are out there. But what you're going to get out of it is better quality mics, much better quality preamp for the mic, a very clean high output headphone amp, and you're going to get the rugged construction that a professional tool has to be if you're going to take it out into the field all the time to use it day by day, and especially if you're going to be planning on making money using this machine. You want something that's going to hold up and work for you every time you turn it on when you need it to record. And that's the tool.
right, so that's the PCM G50. This will be available uh, this month, of October. It's going to be uh, sold at all the professional outlets and music stores in the area and all around the country. And we're pretty excited about that. We've got some great, great reactions from the people here at the show already. The dealers are lined up, and, I, and the end users are pretty much lined up too. So look forward to it. Thanks. Doing real good.